Hi everyone, hi. Um, I'm Matthew. Tonight we're importing a dog from Australia. He's a Siberian Husky. So we're about to drive to the airport, to the cargo terminal to go pick him up. So I'm very excited. Uh, we, we, we love making it smooth and easy for the pets to, to travel. And I've been a vet for, for 20 years and helping pets fly safely is hugely rewarding to see the pets getting reunited with their families. So let's do it. So we're, we're off to the airport then. Let's go see this, this dog. Okay, we've just arrived at the cargo terminal. So there's three different cargo terminals actually in Hong Kong. There's a Cathay Pacific cargo terminal, there's the Super Terminal 1, and there's the Asia F8 terminal. And that's where we are tonight. We're at AAT because this, this dog's come from on Qantas flight from Australia. So we're about to go and do the documents and uh, help do all the paperwork. So then we can, we can pick him up. So there's there's probably three key things to know for importing dogs from Australia. Number one is they have to be over 60 days of age. Number two is they don't have any quarantine. As long as the paperwork's fine, there's no quarantine on their arrival, which is different than if they're going to Australia. If they're going there, then they have quarantine for 10 days. And the third thing is that actually, if they're a puppy, if they're not over five months of age, then they can come straight in without having a rabies vaccine and without having an avid microchip being placed. Because if they're over five months, or from many other countries, they need to have a, these vaccines and chips on arrival. So, so uh, let's, let's, let's go and meet our, our, our pet tonight. When we meet our pet, when we when we're greeting the animals, so so the key thing is their health. How 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 are they? Have they have they got off the plane? Healthy and happy, no, no, no injuries, no, no, no problems. We, we, we check the water. We give them a big hug, and and then we we have to help hold the pets. So the the Hong Kong government staff will might want to give a microchip or a vaccine. If that's the case, then then we then our team helps to hold them for the for the for the government staff. Okay, everything's gone well. We are leaving the airport now. So we've made sure that the, the husky, his, his crate is all clean and dry. Uh, he's, looking, he's looking fine. And we've uh, refilled his water and we've called mum to say that we're on the way home. So, so they're gonna be reunited together soon. So I'm looking forward to, forward to that, I'm excited. Okay, it's the end of the night. Our brave traveler has been reunited with his family. They had a huge hug, lots of kisses, lots of tail wagging. And uh, we're on our way home. We're, we're, we're leaving them now and, and we're going home. So, so successful, successful evening. So I think our top tip, our, our number one tip would be that we're grateful to our office team who, who did the paperwork and the paperwork was impeccable because we, when we're at the airport, we just want to concentrate on, on, on our dog or cat and, and give them all of our full attention and, and our love and care. And so because our office team managed to do all of the paperwork impeccably, there was no questions about any, any discrepancies with microchip numbers or the, the Hong Kong import permit or the, or the airway bill or the consignee details or any of the other 101 different, different little uh, minutiae of the paperwork. So, so number one tip, get the paperwork done in advance 
by the team, you know, by 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 your friends or, or your or your colleagues or, or by someone, and so on the night, everything will go smoothly. Excellent. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want more videos like this, let us know, and we'll see you another time. Have a great day.